Dear students, welcome to Bluepen Online. Shall we begin? Please use headset, pen and paper to take notes. Here you go. Please let's know your feedback after class. Oh. <clears throat> See what are prostaglandins and leukotrienes? This is the main important uh, part of this chapter. Is every cell has a membrane phospholipid? Every cell has a membrane phospholipid, and if there is any chemical or mechanical stimuli, it activates phospholipase A, which breaks a twenty amino acid. Okay. arachidonic acid this contains 20 such structures okay so arachidonic acid is broken from a membrane phospholipid of the cell on chemical or mechanical stimulation so what does this fatty acid do this fatty acid further is converted into either leukotrienes or prostaglandins so it depends upon which cell cell is stimulated that it chooses either of these two pathways that is one is known as the cyclo oxygenase pathway the other is known as lipo oxygenase pathway i want you to remember it's very very important cyclo oxygenase pathway and the other is lipo oxygenase pathway if it chooses the cyclo oxygenase pathway i will get three substances which are prostaglandins thromboxin and prostacyclin if i choose the lipo oxygen pathway i will get leukotrienes okay so my chemical mechanical structure stimuli the cell the arachidonic acid is broken off from a membrane phospholipid it is a 20 structured fatty acid and this is stimulated to go into either pathway cyclo oxygenase and lipo oxygenase cyclo oxygenase gives rise to prostaglandin thromboxin and prostacyclin the other lipo oxygenase pathway gives leukotrienes okay so again i have simplified it for you so why am i stressing so much on this cyclo oxygenase pathway and lipo oxygenase pathway because their ultimate results are normally seen even in our physiological active form even when you and me are sitting this prostaglandins prostacyclins and thromboxins are continuously getting produced but whenever i have any infection or inflammation in the body they become pathologically active okay so because of this pathological activation they increase in number same way with lipoxygenase pathway they are main, in low levels they will always be secreted but whenever there is an infection or an inflammation they will get increased this will lead to more inflammation and something we dealt with in last class anaphylaxis do you remember do you remember yes. anaphylaxis correct so leukotrienes moderate anaphylaxis just like histamine they are also a fast part of it they also attract wbcs to the site of infection so all this is done by the leukotrienes in this like you can see there are two enzymes that i have highlighted cox1 and cox2 cox1 is normally there in us cox2 comes only when there is inflammation